Hello everyone, so let's try to quickly revise all the IEL images in surgery. The result may be not in our hand, but the hard work and the willpower is. Let's try to work hard and make yourself and your parents proud. This is Dr. Araraj and now let's quickly revise all the IELs. Let's go. So look at the image here. This is going to be thyroglossal cyst. It is a midline neck swelling. Most common site is going to be infrahyoid and you're going to treat it with cyst trunk operation. Look at the patient here. He is the patient of retrosternal goiter. So when you ask the patient to lift both his hands, you're, this is what you're going to see in his face. It is due to the enlarged thyroid gland which extends up to the clavicle and to the sternum. So this image can be very common to everyone. Look at this. This is candida. It is caused by candida albicans and the patient is going to have white patches and is also going to have oral thrush. Remember these white patches can be removed. Whereas in leukoplakia, the thick and white patches cannot be scraped off. Very important to remember. And the third image, this is the image of oral cancer. And this is going to be commonly located at the lateral border of the tongue. In India, it is commonly at, located at the gingivo buccal mucosa. Very important to remember. Look at the image here. This is going to be exophthalmos. Both the eyes are actually protruded here. And this is commonly seen in Graves' disease. The second image is pretibial mixed edema. We can see thick scaly skin and the patient is going to have lower limb swellings, swellings in the lower limb. So if you see an image like this in the exam, this is going to be sialolithiasis. This is due to calcium phosphate deposition. So the most common complication is due to calcium phosphate and the investigation of choice is very important to remember it is NCCT non-contrast CT and the second image here is going to be parotid abscess we are going to do incision and drainage followed by antibiotics and the third image here this is nothing but squamous cell carcinoma great look at the image carefully here this is going to be breast abscess most common organism is going to be staph aureus yes and it is commonly seen in lactating females and this image here looks like orange but it is a breast cancer called as podorange very important for the exam the tumor cells actually enters into the lymphatics so remember podorange and this image here is going to be fibroadenoma. Fibroadenoma. You are going to remember four points. It is going to be a benign tumor. It is also called as breast mouse. Investigation of choice is going to be F and AC. On mammography, remember, we are going to see popcorn calcification. Remember, popcorn calcification. And also, investigation of choice is going to be F and AC. Fine needle aspiration cytology. Men's syndrome is always the hot topic in our FMG exams. Let's revise it nicely right now. Let's go. Men 1. Men 1 is called as what? Vermeer syndrome. Men 1 is called as what? Vermeer syndrome. It has three P's. Remember, it has three P's. The first P is for parathyroid hypoplasia. Second is for pancreatic tumor. And third is for pituitary adenoma. Let's revise. Men 1. It is also called as what? Vermeer syndrome. And it has three piece great now let's go to men 2a men 2a is called as simple syndrome men 2a is called as simple syndrome it has two p remember it has two piece now the first one is for pheochromocytoma and second is for parathyroid hyperplasia and it has medullary thyroid carcinoma let's go to men 2b men 2b it is also called as multiple mucosal neuroma syndrome it has one p yes it has one p it is going to be pheochromocytoma and the remaining starts with m that is going to be morphinoid body habitus it has medullary thyroid carcinoma and mucosal neuromas very important remember men 1 as three p's men 2a as two p's men 2b as one p very important remember men 2a and 2b both as pheochromocytoma both 
piece great now the graphs are going to be very very important for our exam always autograph remember the word itself says auto is for self graph from the same person allograph this is the graph from different person but same species remember same species isograph as the word itself says iso it is from the identical identical twins identical twins great xenograft is from the graph from different species remember just this slide alone can definitely fetch you one mark now let's look at the radiological images the first one is probably a lot of question for everyone this is going to be echelasia cardia it is going to be having what bird beak appearance in the barium swallow per big appearance great and this is probably again uh, lkg syllabus this is going to be a for apple a for apple core sign it is seen in colon cancer uh, these two this third and fourth one probably for fmgs uh, cart through appearance is seen in diffuse esophageal spasm please remember that and this is going to be Zenker's diverticulum. Zenker's diverticulum. There is going to be an outpouching between the muscles CP cricopharyngeus and inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscles. Inferior pharyngeal constrictor muscles. Very good. This is another important image to revise for the exam. It is called as what? Fournier gangrene. It is the necrotizing facades of the scrotal region. It is also called as idiopathic scrotal gangrene. You are going to manage these patients with IV fluids and IV antibiotics. And the image here we can see an thin membrane around this. It is called as what? Amphalocil. It is the intestine which fails to return into the intra-abdominal cavity and it is commonly associated with trisomy 13, 18 and 21. In gastrorachysis, if you see, there is going to be no membrane around it. It is due to the purely splitting of the abdominal wall and it is associated with intestinal atresia. So let's look at the important images here. This is going to be, first one is going to be Doyen's retractor. Remember Doyen's as O and it somewhat looks like a O. Next is going to be Langenbeck's retractor. It is going to look like L in shape. Great. And the third one is going to be Joel's thyroid retractor. Look at this carefully. And the last one is going to be proctoscope. Great. Let's look at the important instruments here. This is going to be artery forceps. Look at the edges here. It is slightly bent upward. It is used for controlling the bleeding by clamping the blood vessels. And the next one is called as Ali's forceps. It was actually invented by Oscar Ali for holding heavy tissues. Great. And this one is going to be BAP cock forceps. It is used for holding a delicate structure. And this is going to be sponge holding forceps july 30 2023 is definitely going to be an amazing day for you all remember there is someone who is watching all your hard works do not worry about the yen products try to think about how you can do your best over these coming days love you all until the next video cheers